Okay, Jacqueline, uh, one of the things uh, that I would suggest, I, I like how you have a good background here. It's easy to read your title. Now, you might want to have, let's see, let's go to the home page. All right, so notice that when I type in here, uh, first of all, you want to make sure that everything is in English. So you might want to change nombre del proyecto, maybe give your ePortfolio title. And, you know, think about maybe a title that is a little bit more general in terms of what, um, what this space represents. Um, scroll down here. Okay, so I've, you've got your introduction, pair, your, uh, introduction video. And then introduction about yourself. Good. So make sure that you check your spelling. Any text that you upload, you want to spell check. Okay, so check the spelling for, of strengths. Um, and uh, let's see the purpose. You know, maybe you have the purpose along the top, maybe. Um, I like that you included the purpose of your ePortfolio, but it seems a little bit uh, lost down at the bottom. I probably would also capitalize the first word and the main words of your of your headings, of your titles. So, for example, here I would capitalize the, capitalize P in purpose, maybe uh, personal, even my, perhaps I would capitalize. Okay, but I like your navigational options here on the left-hand side. Okay. So you might want to go in and make sure that these images are under the Creative Commons license. Make sure that um, you're only using, it looks like they are creative, actually. All right, so maybe you've done that. Um, okay, that's fine. So it looks like you have included a link. If there's a way to include a hyperlink of the image, that is, if you click on the image and it takes you to this URL that you have here, uh, I would do that. Actually, this is not a link to the source, though. You want to include, include a link to the source not a link to the Creative Commons. You can just mention, I mean, this is okay, but in addition to this, you need a link to the image. Like, where did you find this image? Uh, so that would be, I would add that. And either, you know, I don't know what options you have with this template. If you can include kind of a sub heading to each of the images, if it gives you that option to do that or include it off to the side as you've done it here, or, like I mentioned earlier, include a link of the image where you, you click, and it takes you directly to the source of that image. Uh, that's what I would add here. And I would d double check all of your pages for the same, right? Making sure that you're including those, and uh, maybe mixing up and not using reusing the same image in different... Uh, sub pages all right and you've got it uh, looks like uh, some reflections yeah so this is coming together nicely um looks like you have some for reading grammar yeah so this looks good um <clears throat> And it looks like you're going to add your reflections later, I'm assuming, so that you'll have videos, you know, and you can decide wh where you want to place those video reflections. But um, it's coming together nicely. Uh, Jacqueline, I would um, continue doing what you're doing and uh, just pay close attention where you want to place your audios and videos. And maybe you include, like in this case, a few lines of text that describes that this is a reflection kind of gives it a title so that the user knows like what this is, like what this audio is intended to uh, to do. And yeah, so I would uh, continue working on this and uh, always find the, try to find the best ways of presenting text, presenting images, presenting links, headings, so that everything stays organized like for example here compound complex sentence make sure that it's clear 
you know, and, and I know that you're putting headings below, but just make sure like maybe you have something, a divider here, or maybe even a, another heading that represents like, well, what these artifacts are versus what this is up here where it says writing, right? Maybe this would, you could have a different heading here to, to describe or represent what, what you're working on in terms of uh, the writing skill and your culture. Okay, yeah, this looks good. All right, so uh, it's coming together nicely, Jacqueline. This, this is what these are. This is what I would suggest uh, to uh, to try to uh, finish up this week your e portfolio. If you have any questions, uh, let me know.